Hiding deep in the brush, just off the main roadways in Kapolei, A, lies an amazing little secret, a small jungle that few people know about. We got zebras, we got giraffes, we got crocodiles, we have, uh, God, we have moose, we have deer, we have antelope, we have something that looks like a walrus. <laughs> Okay, so the animals may be fake, but the experience for archers is very real. And about as lifelike as hunters anywhere can get. We're unique in the sense that we're the only 3D range in the state of Hawaii. And throughout the United States, they're very limited. There might be another six or so, another handful out there. Welcome to the Kapolei Archery Range a shooting range that offers archers of all ages a place to hone their skills in a friendly and safe environment. 33 targets that go around the crater here. We have our regular static bail range where you practice, sight in, do all your tuning. And that goes from 10 yards all the way out to 60. Uh, these targets that go all the way around this crater here will vary anywhere from 27 yards out to 60 even 70. Like the targets they aim for, club members are about as different as they come, from oh, recreational man. archers to avid hunters who hone their skills during regular tournaments held right here on the range. And we usually try to schedule them before hunting season or any kind of big competitions so that the community can come out and practice, warm up. Uh, like I said, sighting in your bow. Sometimes sighting in your bow can take all day. You know, I mean, it's just not something you pick up and just start shooting. That's because these aren't your grandfather's bow and arrow sets. These are high-tech, finely tuned instruments that can cost upwards of seven to eight thousand bucks if you're willing to shell out the money for all the bells and whistles. We need to sight in and that's, you know, moving all the pins here to make sure that they line up with the range. Uh, your windage, your left and right, um, yeah, there's, there's a bunch of things. It, it can get complicated. These are some serious bows. This is the rack for, to shoot the arrows. This is the pin to aim the sight. This is for the release. Hoyt Bright may be young, but he knows his equipment. In fact, he and his bow share the same name. And with his Hoyt in hand, he already hits the bullseye more times than not. I shot it in a tournament. How'd you do in that tournament? Good. How good? Really good. You won? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. And it's no wonder this little hotshot has already zeroed in on the target. He started shooting shortly after he learned how to walk. I've been shooting ever for seven years. Really? Seven years? Mm -hmm. And how old are you now? Nine. Not surprisingly, Hoyt's father is an avid hunter, but he says picking up the bow and arrow was his son's idea from day one. And I don't push any sport on him. If he, if he loves to shoot it, he's, if he likes soccer, whatever he wants to do, he'll do. But eventually, he slowly got better and better, and now he's into this bow right here, which is uh, more of a high-tech bow. It's not one of those um, little recurve plastic bows. Yeah, so he's getting better with all the technology of the new bows. He's, um, he's getting more accurate, and he just loves it now. Dad also believes the discipline young Hoyt is learning out on the range will transfer into other areas of his life. You have to focus. Everything is focused, and it's an individual uh, item. You're shooting a bowl, you're shooting at a target. And if you're not disciplined enough, like I would look at him back of him, and it's, he's, he has to concentrate, concentrate on the target. If he's not concentrating, and he strays from that, he will miss the target. It does transfer his life because now he has he get to sit down and though when he's reading, he's actually he's studying, he's um, focusing on what he needs to understand on you know his reading part. Yeah, so it does help him a lot. Although he's an accomplished shooter now, Craig says he was pretty much self-taught. Something new club members don't have to worry about now, nor do they need to worry about the cost. Fire when you're ready. We don't charge really Good anything. Shot. We ask for a donation, which is a dollar, 
And what that does, that dollar covers the expenses to repair all our targets and to keep the upkeep here. Uh, we, we're a nonprofit, we don't, we don't want money. Basically, we're based on having fun. That's what it's all about when you come out here. The range is open weekends from nine to five, and if you want to learn more, zero in on the website at www.thesixpackbushwhackers.com.